Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the 105LFH18B2, the French Tier 5 Premium SVG that we know and love as Fee Fee La Pew Pew. You might know it's a Leffy, a Leaf Blower, or even a Le Heifer. This one is located on the north spawn of Abbey and it's under the command of Sips of SJD Clan. Game on! Well, you won't believe this, I actually received an email from one of the players who were actually opposing him in this game um, because he actually looked him up afterwards and found one of Sip's replays was, was on our site and he wanted to find out some more about him. Well, I think you can probably guess what he actually did to the enemy team to provoke this reaction. This is going to be a humdinger. Rounds out, first shot, warns that AMX that if he comes any further forward, he's going to take a round. Rounds out, that one landed right next door to him for 60 hit points. Rounds out again, Loaded, landed very close to the ELC, the next shot could kill him. Oh, he backed away just in time. Okay, it's a 105mm light field howitzer, capable of 410 alpha, 53mm of pin, and 1.91 meters on the burst radius. The standard reload for this RT, well, it's normally 8.79, if I remember correctly by the book. In fact, it's um, 8.92 by the book, I was wrong. Um, but we can see here the reload time for SIPs is 7.31. Okay, we've got a Zadimika, the Polish tank destroyer. Just goes over the top of him, but he's now going to go for the Panzerfeuer Ausrung F2. That was the one that was modified after they um, saw the T-34 for the first time. Oh, he landed a shell against the Zadimika, but it didn't do any damage. So he's reloading, rounds out. Again, not getting a lot of joy at the moment. Rounds out. That lands short on the Churchill. He does have a teammate in this battle. It's uh, Bishop. And he's firing from a lot closer. He's gone down the corridor on the west side. So he's firing from C1. So we're going to try and land a shell on the Ch uh, Churchill. Nope, didn't get that one either. But it did land nearby. Okay, stuck die. That's better. 404 hit points. That's a penetrating shot. Made a nice crump as it went against the hull. He's dialing in on the Churchill 3. He's gone in against our A20 and he's rammed him. Unfortunately, the A20 doesn't survive. But I think the Churchill's going to want to come out of there. Rounds out. And he takes a penetrating shot for 344. Now the guy's going to come around the corner. We're loaded with HE this time. And we changed our mind because we've seen a better target, a Chi Nu, over here. In fact, actually, there's another guy just over here, Panzerfeuer Alsurung H. Okay, the Chi Nu's come back into sight. Lined up, rounds out, and direct hit. Oh, penetrating shot! 452. That's a high roll. Oh, we just missed out on getting a kill shot there. Now, can we see that, Churchill? Well, we can see the Panzerfeuer Alsurung F2. And that one went long. It looks like he's gone down there to the far end to shoot at our teammates. We can't see him at the moment. Is he going to move the wreck? If he gives us, moves the wreck, it might give us a clue. There's the Chinu. Enemy RT's in sight already. Rounds out on the Chinu. Oh, he took that one as well. Direct hit. 
If there's no explosion, you know you touch the target. Okay, we've got an enemy tank destroyer here. Only three, I think. Hiding on that corner. Rounds out. Very accurate shot. The kill shot. He's got his first kill. There's that Chi Nu again. And the Panzer Fear Al Sunung H, who's hiding around the corner. He's got the 75mm gun, but he's out the game. I think that's another penetrating shot because he absolutely wrecked the guy. And he's got the Chi Nu as well. That's three kills. In short order, he's taken apart those guys. Now, can we see that Panzer Fear that went up here? There he is. And line up the shot. Fires one in. The guy moves back just in time. Okay, can we see another enemy? Yes, there's the enemy thief. He fires, but he looks away. He did actually hit the target. He's going to try and do it again. Oh, and he keeps looking away afterwards. You don't want to do that. You want to... He actually did hit the enemy tank, but he didn't kill it. He hit the enemy Fifi. He keeps looking and then pulling back to go after this Panzer Fear F5. And he keeps looking away after he shoots. Now, we do normally say to people, if you keep looking away and we miss out on what actually happens with the shell, then we won't do your replays. But come on, Sips. Get with the program. IKV-103. Rounds out. Thin armor on those guys. It's such a long-range shot now. He's firing over virtually the entire length of the battlefield. Trying to get this IKV. And he does get him. That's a penetrating shot as well. 386. He's trying to aim for that Panzer Fear F2. And we found another one over here. Oh, he nukes that guy. That's his fifth kill. And now we've got an M10 RBFM. He's very low on hit points. He pulls back just in time. Now, can we get a shot on target? He tries. Just misses it. Our KV-1's coming up behind that uh, M10. Long range shot. Yes, he got him. That's a top gun. And that is the end of the game. Here's the end of battle stats, and that was an ace tanker game for Sips of SJD in the 105 Lef H 18B2. Congratulations on such a brilliant game because that earned a Reaper badge for getting consecutive kills on consecutive enemies, as well as a third mark of excellence. Yes, he's actually done it. He's got the purple barrel now. He's also got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he managed to get 13. A gauze medal for doing more damage, exceeding eight times the hit points of his own vehicle. High caliber for dealing the most damage in that game overall. And a top gun for getting at least six kills. He ended up with six exactly. And a win eight of 10,472, which is super unicum and a lot more. In fact, um, the players on the enemy team were... Um, a little distraught after that battle. They saw that he carried the team and that he literally wiped them out. And they sent me a little note, which I think I can show to you right now. Yeah, this guy just destroyed our game just now. Completely carried his team with 2,800 damage. Was so peed off, I had to search for him. And he found one of his old replays. In fact, actually, it's not an old replay. It's from fairly recent, actually. I think it was... Um, in March of this year, but Sips had another game and of course appeared on our channel and he just had to check. This was Snake Bloke, apparently, uh, but he sent me this email uh, afterwards. Um, well, actually, I think it appeared underneath the uh, the video. It was one of the comments, but it was actually quite funny to see that, to, to see that this guy was so wiped out uh, that he had to check it up and find out what Sips was up to. Okay, let's have a look at the team score and see where he was. 2,862 hit points. The next highest scorer only had 1,675, and that was the IKV-103 on the enemy team. And the third highest, well, that went to the M10 RBFM, who ended up with 1,613. When it came to kills, Sips got that one too. Six kills to him. 
four kills to the M10 RBFM on the enemy team, two kills to the Bishop, the AT2, the Fifi on the enemy team, and their Honey 3. And when it came to base XP, he's got that one too. Yeah, in fact, he's the only player to get over a thousand base in the game. He got 1,094. The next highest was the Churchill 3 on their team with 944. And in third place, we've got the T14 who only managed 819. Sips fired only 34 rounds, so he had plenty of ammo left over at the end of the game. 26 rounds in, um, sorry, 26 rounds, 16 rounds, sorry, in total left over. 12 direct hits on the enemy, 7 penetrations. I think I was losing count of the number of tanks that he actually penetrated. And I think we have to scroll the page in order to find all the ones he did. He didn't penetrate the ELC. He did penetrate the Chi Nu. You see that 600 hit points. So he was the only one to hit the Chi Nu during that game. He penetrated the one of the Panzer Fear F Zwei. He also got a penetrating shot in the Honey 3. He didn't touch the Zadimika. He did hit that guy three times, but he kept looking away after he shot, but he didn't get a penetrating shot in the end and he got taken out. 404 hit points off one penetrating shot off the Stug 3 Alstrom G on the enemy team. And if we go down the rest, he actually did penetrate the Churchill 3 for 344. That penetrate, that uh, Panzer 4, Panzer 4 Alstrom H, yes, he got a penetrating shot on that one. And he landed a shell right on top of the IKV, the best player on the enemy team. And he took him for 386 hit points of damage. Did he get the last one? No, because that, that one he didn't actually. Just got a critical hit damage on the guy. Well, that's very impressive. He also got 10 splashes on the enemy. 2,862 hit points of damage, all of it at more than 300 meters. He damaged 11 of the enemy, killed 6 of them, and did 24 hit points of damage assist. He also did it on a free-to-play account, but he didn't make a profit, unfortunately. He actually made a loss of 8,052 credits. And the reason for that is he did use consumables and he did fire some premium rounds. He did use the premium rounds because he wanted to get the penetration. It really worked. When he got the shot on the Churchill, that one went right through. He also picked up 1,386 experience points. But best of all, in that game, he picked up his third mark of excellence. Congratulations. Once you've got that on the barrel, they can never take it away from you. And it means you are absolutely deadly. And of course, you provoked a very big reaction from whoever Mr. Snakehead is. Um, yes, I'm looking for it now to see if I can find anyone on that board that might be the player. Um, he did say 2,800, and yes, this is the amount that he did during that battle. So somebody on that team uh, really felt that uh, uh, that win and was so wiped out that he actually went looking to try and find out if this guy was famous or not. And yes, he is famous because he's appeared on our channel. So well done, Sips. You're keeping up the reputation of RT players everywhere by showing them that RT can win games, not just win them but can wipe out the enemy team and support your other players to get great results as well. So well done, Sips. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.